Hello, this is Dr. Richard Cole from New Jersey Spine and Rehabilitation. This video demonstrates a percutaneous lumbar interbody fusion. The first stage in the operation is the insertion of a 10 inch 18 gauge needle through the posterior lateral margin of the affected disc. The insertion of a blunt dilator followed by the insertion of a 9mm sheath allows access into the center of the disc. AP and lateral fluoroscopic images enable appropriate positioning of the surgical instruments. The device called a depth gauge is inserted through the sheath to begin the initial central decompression of the disc space. Specialized instruments such as the one seen is called a shaper. This allows further decompression and removal of the degenerated and pain producing disc material. Irrigation is used throughout the procedure to flush out the smaller fragments of the degenerated disc. End plate preparation is achieved through a rotatory action of the shaper. Once the intervertebral space has been adequately prepared, the anchoring frame is attached to the table. Again, fluoroscopic Images in the AP and lateral view confirm correct placement of the sheath. The interbody cage is attached to a specialized driver and is inserted through the sheath under fluoroscopic guidance. Once the collapsed cage is in place, allograft bone is manually packed into the space. As can be seen on the fluoroscopic view, bone is beginning to collect within the intervertebral space, leading to a distraction and increase of vertebral height. The endoscope is inserted through the sheath and is used for visualization as the sheath is withdrawn from the intervertebral space. This allows any bleeding points to be identified and treated. Once the intervertebral mesh cage has been inserted, pedicle screws are placed through the pedicles uh, in this case at the L4 and L5 levels. A percutaneous K-wire guided system is used for insertion of cannulated pedicle screws. Fluoroscopic guidance is again critical in optimizing the position of the screws. A rod is then placed into the screw heads providing posterior stability and support to the fusion mass. This procedure is carried out bilaterally. This concludes the surgery.